A sepsis is um, an inflammatory response syndrome, it's called. It's basically an inflammation response to an infection. It is spread to major organs of the body. So that means it damages your lungs, it damages your heart, the liver, or kidney, and organs, so even the brain. COVID causes, um, we, we now know that it causes injury to the endothelial cells, those are the cells that line blood vessels. And, um, and that injury does two things, that it, it activates the inflammatory system. And the other thing that that injury does to the uh, endothelial cells, it activates the blood clotting system. And Nexen uh, inhibits the clotting system by what we, by coating those injured endothelial cells and and compounds that are exposed on injured cell surfaces, so it coats those surfaces and prevents platelets from sticking. So it's a totally different mechanism um, by which it inhibits or might inhibit blood clots. That same injury to the cell membrane that exposes it and activates the platelets also activates an inflammatory response. So uh, the annexin probably uh, is believed to inhibit that inflammatory response as well. Uh, an XM5 basically it blocks the uh, endotoxin uh, binding to its receptor and therefore inhibit its uh, response, uh, pro-inflammatory response. So this is the same with uh, the uh, COVID uh, disease. Uh, so initially it was in the airway, and then in the lungs, and then from there, the flow inflammatory response, in fact, uh, spread uh, the whole body. If in fact, uh, an X5 is shown to be effective in sepsis, then this is a, will be a huge uh, benefit uh, for the society because sepsis in fact is uh, uh, worldwide is the leading cause of death.